scare at the Boston Marathon finish line. This time, everyone's okay, but runners are determined to stay strong. More on what happened just ahead. It's been uh, a, a year since the bombings killed three people, injured 260, and there is a sense of resiliency, and one local man is proof. WSBT's Rachel Lake is at the live desk with his story. Rachel. Rick, Dr. Dale Patterson crossed the finish line an hour before the bombs went off. The tragedy left him so shook up, he didn't think he'd be able to run in the marathon again this year, but he soon changed his mind. It's, it's a great way to stay in shape. Each time he laces up his running shoes and hits the pavement, Dale Patterson, a South Bend doctor, is pushing himself harder and harder. I was always the best at running. Which is why on Monday, Patterson will be competing in the Boston Marathon for the sixth time since 2007. But this year, he'll be less focused on how fast he runs. It'll be very emotional. Um, you know, I, I think it'll be a little scary because I mean, you, you, know, you always, in the back of your mind, you think, oh, could it happen again? After finishing the race last year, Patterson decided to cheer on the other runners. But as he was walking back... A couple hundred people were running down the street at me uh, and telling me to go the other way. Patterson made his way to a nearby medical tent. It was there that he learned two bombs went off near the finish line. He stayed at the tent in case the other doctor needed his help. But he says all the victims were treated at the scene. It was frustrating not to be able to help them to be that close. The next day, it all sunk in. You're angry that it happened, that somebody could do that. You feel a little guilty uh, because, you know, I was, and it was an hour before that I had run through the finish line. And if they would have decided to do it then, it could have been me, and it wasn't. Patterson flew out of Boston feeling sad. At first, he didn't want to run in the marathon again. But then he saw how the city, and nation for that matter, came together after the tragedy. Uh, it just kind of stirs something inside of you that you want to be part of that. Um, and I know when I go back uh, on Monday, there's going to be you know, 36,000 people uh, running, uh, and everybody's going to be cheering and just showing that uh, the people who did that uh, weren't able to dampen everyone's spirits, and, and the race will go on. Last year, Patterson's family cheered him on as he ran the race, but this year he'll be going alone. As you just heard, he'll be one of 36,000 runners, the second highest number in the race's history. Reporting from the live desk, Rachel Lake, WSBT Channel 22 News. A lot of people will be running in fact.